What up, YouTube? This land is strange here. And today, I'm going to be filming little tidbits of the surprise party for our trainer's primal. For today is his birthday. Well, not today. Monday is his birthday. But we're doing everything today for the Saturday. And who really want to do something on a birthday? Needless to say. Oh, Jesus Christ. Needless to say, we're doing something for his birthday. And the funny thing is, he knows nothing about it. Not a damn thing. He's been thrown off for months. There we go. Wait, did I get my buds? Oh. Oh, no, I got my buds. Thank God. Okay, so yeah. Been thrown off for months. Um... I'm going to get little time snippets and tidbits of what's going on today. But yeah, we're doing this for his birthday. So he has a whole birthday shoot and retrospect. And the funny thing is, like, we're going to play a game called Blind Locations. So we can take him to different locations blindfolded until the time of the party. So the funny thing is, he won't know what the hell is going on. But we all will. So let's have fun. Just stay alive for a few. So here I have a, uh, I have a number of close friends and family of Sean. And right now, what I want to do before they start is present them with a certificate of sympathy from uh, the precinct one. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, he would have loved you. So uh, we're going to release the balloons in a little bit. It was five to ten minutes. We just want to wait for everybody to get a candle or balloon from inside. Um, we might have uh, two of his closest friends speak uh, some small words, and then we'll do a, a prayer from my mother, a uh, moment of silence, and a countdown to the release. Uh, thank you guys again for coming out. Um, if something like that happens, go ahead and get a little balloon from inside. Uh, and thank you. As you all may know, as the fellow Lamar students, they may know, um, if you if you saw Lucky, you were going to see Sean or eat him or somebody of that nature. Um, uh, Sean was, had became like a brother to me. Um, I met him through Lucky. He's a part of me and Lucky's love story. He was how we met. Um, if, one thing I admired about Sean was his dedication to many different causes. Sean played a pivotal moment at Lamar. Um, a lot of the organization that we have in Lamar is because of Sean and his dedication towards the cause. So um, I'm just so happy to see all of the faces here so that we can celebrate Sean. Um, it's really hard for us, I'm not gonna lie. It, it is really, really, really hard for us. You know, but we're just so happy just to see all of the faces. Like, now I know. So thank you guys. And thank you to all of my Lamar family that's here, and all of his family and friends. We are, we are thankful. Thank you.
Sean at 14 was the polar opposite of me. I was loud, I was talkative, and like you've heard from every story here, you know, it was nicknamed Goom. They always say store rounders win deep when I was Sean. Uh, we used to joke about each other that uh, for people to get engaged, he didn't fear any man, obviously. He didn't fear the future either. He was the most optimistic person about his future, as you've heard. He had Huge plans for this life, huge plans for the city. He even dreamed about one day being the mayor of this city. But the one thing he didn't fear is dying and not being missed. And I thought about that this week. It's like the show this way. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we just left the balloon release and yet he still don't know, which is good. We're getting him dressed for his photo shoot now, which is perfect. And so he still has no idea what the master plan is, which is perfect. And so we're gonna make it work from this point forward and try to make sure we get everything done so that way he can have a amazing birthday surprise because it's literally about to be seven o'clock and everybody should be getting to the house about eight and leaving around nine. So that's the thing. So we finally got this nigga out the house. Nick started getting all moody and shit after the service. Rest in peace to Sean, of course, you know. Good friend, right now. But you know, we're about to go take these photos. Little do he know, this is about to be hilarious. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, this is hilarious. If only he knew. Uh, but yeah. He's blindfolded in the car, not knowing what the hell is going on. I met Monte Cristo's getting some cigars for the props. So, excuse me. If only they brought that pure white. Oh wait, do they have it? No. Uh, one man's dream. Ooh, and so it's this fucking one. Okay, mine is 20. 
So we got the cigars and we're ready to go. Trying to look at your eye holes. I got my eyes closed. Oh, good. Even better. Press in my nerves. Good. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Oh, Without my will. You know what I mean? Yes, I am. I got a fucking mask on. 
nigga won't let me see where the fuck I'm going. Talk about artistic view. You don't do this to none of your other clients. So they don't drive with me at night. That, and that's fine to keep a motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. What <laughs> logical sense? Like, yo, there's no hypothesis and no thesis to that on why the fuck you put a blindfold on a nigga and drive him to locations to take a picture. Pictures, nigga, don't play with me. This is art. Stop fucking with art. You fucking with art, man. Oh my god. I give you the benefit of the doubt to take it off when we get there. At least that. Jesus Christ. Well, anything else more than that would just be yeah. basic. And art is not basic. You better do this with all your other clients when they drive with you. That nice and gentle. I better be in the backseat watching. It's a nice and gentle. Trying out new artistic locations. There's something wrong with that?
this motherfucker. Why wouldn't the fuck would I take you? I that? don't know, man. I'm not that evil. So why do you think I'm that evil? Because you are. I grew up with you since the age of five. I know you. Man. But I'm not that evil. You the type of motherfucker <laughs> that don't talk to nobody for three years until they reach out to you. Which is true. But still, I'm not that evil. Like you'll speak to him in public, but you won't reach out to him. I'm different. I don't speak to people. And I get that. Civility. I get that, you know. But still in all, I'm not that evil. Are we clear? No. We're almost there. How many more minutes? I don't know. I'm not taking that quest to fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me out here. <laughs> no. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Not the smartest thing to do. Oh, there we go. To the address. How do I feel like you're taking me? You know I don't like the address. On any given Sunday. I'm not trying to kill you. Calm down. If I'm watching TikTok, I'd rather you ask the question. It's funny. It's not funny. Yeah, it's TikTok is funny. Yeah, TikTok is funny. TikTok is fucking hilarious. Oh, they're making a new Naruto uh, series. Like how they did uh, Thundercats yeah. on Cartoon Network. Why? They're calling it Narita. What? Yeah, it's Narita. It's the girl versions of Team Seven, except Sakura is a nigga and Kakashi Sensei is a bitch, and Sasuke and uh, Naruto are females. What? Yeah, Cartoon Network's working on it. They need to just stop it. <laughs> That don't look like he'll go be flame if it's true. We get a female nine tails. Give me a second. Downtown Wood Street. Pearson Gray. Can I look now? No, I ain't parked yet. Can I look now? No, I ain't parked yet. Jeez. Can I look now? No.